Hi friends, if you click to check out the new Charlotte Tilbury limited edition holiday 2019 magic star highlighter, then please keep on watching. Hi, my name is Alicia. Thank you so much if it's your first time here. And if you are returning, well, thank you for coming again. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I'm a fitness professional who loves things, all movement and beauty. If you want to check out what I do on the daily in between the makeups, you can head over to my Instagram. I know another Charlotte Tilbury product. What is happening? I am not turning into a Charlotte Tilbury channel. That is Glam Dr. Mona's channel. I'm gonna leave the fandom to her. I've just been really loving the holiday releases from Charlotte as of late. I think this might be, well that's not true. I'm thinking about picking up a couple of other things. The when I saw this leaked a few months ago, I already had my heart set on it So this was really no surprise right now. This is exclusively sold on charlottetilbury.com The other holiday pieces I believe are the face palette which I have the celestial eyes alongside the pillow talk pops of color palette as well the face palette celestial eyes quad and the magic star highlighter all have the same design and i have to appreciate the uniformity of this despite the starry eyes to hypnotize palette being blue with the glitter alongside the film star bronze and glow Svar svarthki duo being in the similar design this is my favorite i really liked what she did here this definitely screams holiday again i just love how it matches the design wise despite it being in different compacts and again this has like a very shiny coppery gold shine it's smooth though but very dazzly and the compact is lined with the gold metallic finish once more i ordered this from charlottetilbury.com i'm not sure if this highlighter specifically will be available at Sephora, Beautylish, or Nordy's, but right now you could order it online. It is still in stock. Retails for $45. We're looking at 10 grams of product or 0.35 ounces, not too bad. This has a suggested shelf life of 30 months. Yes, we could use it for a long time. And this product is made in Italy. I am reading off of Charlotte's website. It says here, darlings. Of course, she has to start everything with darlings. Give the gift of glow with my limited edition magic star highlighter. Encased in a magical star bust. Encased in a magical star bust. I keep saying star bust. Encased in a magical star burst compact, this highly pigmented gold champagne highlighter gilds your skin with a moonlit shimmer for a soft, focused beauty glow that reflects the lights. You're like, can you please open the compact, Alicia? Thank you so much. Here it is. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous this appears to be like a gel type of formula the pan is slightly raised to kind of mimic that sun star burst as she said in her description feel of things i have a couple of her highlighters here on standby to do comparison swatches then we'll do the demo and this will be very short and sweet i just got this in the mail today wanted to hop on here check it out with you guys alongside the highlighter with my purchase i was able to pick out some samples i decided to pick up the hollywood flawless filter sample card i already have number three but i have on number five the tan flawless filter under my foundation and I kind of like it. I know my girl T, not be headed hope up. Hi! She uses this all over her face, and like her, it's just one of those things that I can't really explain what it is, but we love how it makes our skin look so. I might be picking up number five for my face and using three for my cheekbones. I know, so excessive. <laughs> and then I also chose a mini full fat lashes, which I wanted to try. Anytime a mascara says full fat lashes, I'm like, yeah, I wanna see what that is. It's a very cute little mini mascara. So let's get into these swatches. We'll do the demo. All time stamps will be down below, as you know, with my videos. And I'll see you here in the close up. That's enough. The description said golden champagne. Let's see. Here is the first swatch. What do we got here? Ooh, that's really smooth. This is the color, friends. I would say this is a decent shade. Uh, ideal for medium and up. I believe if you are a deeper skin tone than me, you could probably get something out of this highlighter, which I'm really happy to say. If that's not accurate, I'm really sorry, but I think just by the looks of it, 
it could be it could be something really beautiful on the sheet bones now if you're lighter than me i would say if you are light to medium i don't know how this will show up as a actual highlighter because it might be a little too golden for you maybe i gotta pan you out a little more because sometimes it's just hard to see when you're too close that's a lot better sorry about that friends i mean i've been doing this for a little bit but some days it just appears like i have not been <laughs> i have the highlighter from the lovegasm palette update one of our family members requested or asked if i would be okay with selling her my other one the lightgasm and i did so i no longer have it i just want to say that on record because i know i give a lot of my makeup away for free but that was fairly new and rarely used so that's why she was like hey i'm willing to buy it from you if you're okay with that so i no longer have it and the makeup i did give away during my declutters i had for quite some time and it was much older so that is the difference with that situation here is the highlighter from lovegasm next to the magical star oh yeah this i feel will look really nice on richer skin tones because the gold highlighter from the lovegasm palette is showing up a little more pinky gold don't you think let's swatch it again just to kind of see what we got here absolutely i'm gonna cut down the exposure a little bit because i feel sometimes it's really hard when it is too bright you know what i'm saying okay that's a lot better so that's what we're looking at here is the magical star highlighter here is the highlighter from lovegasm i'll keep the exposure like this because i want us to also take a look at the highlighter in the newly released instant face in a palette highlighter this is gonna be a lot lighter than all of them the texture is just different this is a true powder highlighter <laughs> look how ashy that looks next to my skin compared to these this works out i mean this is very very light but i just use a very long bristled brush so it's more of a lightweight finish versus more dense like this color bar of gold palette so let's try this one here the gold the rose gold and the bronze and all three so it appears that the newest addition to my highlighter family from charlotte tilbury definitely is the most golden warmest tone isn't that crazy how the one from lovegasm takes on that pinkish hue i think that's why i love it so much and the bar of gold palette appears to still be significantly lighter than the star magic star highlighter so i hope those swatches were helpful to you in terms of figuring out if this is a shade that you could use or not use as far as the face i don't have any bronzer on so i decided to apply some on here i realized that i did not set my newly applied concealer and foundation taking a little bit of my shiseido radiant loose powder to just lightly set my under eyes i don't know if i want to set my face i kind of like the tack that kind of left behind i combine pat's foundation with hourglasses vanish liquid foundation i really love it on my eyes i have the urban decay honey palette i really love yellow browns i decided today i mean just look at it so pretty you know i'm not gonna take any chances i'm going in with my pat mcgrath sublime loose face loose loose face loose setting powder just all over the fish let's take a sonya g sculpt one in with the bronze shade from her instant face in a palette instant look at a palette <laughs> keep saying instant face. i'm gonna put that on right here cool beans all right let's try this highlighter i would like to apply this with two different brushes i first want to go in with a smaller compact highlighter brush and a maybe traditional fan brush maybe top it off going in with her detail fan or, or fan pro i should say detail fan i was combining two names at once what's wrong with me let's first go in with her mini chic let's see how this works out friends oh wow that's really pretty oh that is just beautifully golden hold on hold on i don't know if you can see it with the lower exposure here's the color that we're dealing with let me lighten you up a little more right now it's 324 and this time of day because it's sunny outside is making me look really golden right now like 
Goal Den. So I'm not sure how accurate this looks on camera, but I really love the texture of this. It's very smooth and very bright. Holy mackerel. Let's go in with Sonia Sculpt 2. And with the Sculpt 2, I like to apply in a pull down type of method versus a back and forth technique as it pertains to this brush at least. I think I like that a lot better than the swishy swish back and forth. That is absolutely gorgeous. I realized that I want to go and grab my Fix Plus. I'll be right back. Ideally, I would spritz. And before this dries down, hold on. Take my Sonergy Designer Pro. And I have to spritz again because I got up to get this and now my Fix Plus dried down. Take a little more and just pat it right on the very high point of the cheekbone. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to look at it from center to see how it translates from the front because if a highlighter is too deep for you, you could kind of see it make like a shadow, but I don't think that's doing that. Oh, that's is that too bright? Oh God, hey! I think the tan flawless filter is giving me some 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 maybe you gotta do number four medium eh, i don't know i'll experiment with it yeah i'm putting on more highlighter because why not this is a very quick first impressions i absolutely love this highlighter i love the texture i love the color the tone the fact that not only the compact actual compact and pan design it's outrageously gorgeous but the actual formula is just outstanding smooth but bright there's no sparkle in here she just solely relies on the shimmer factor which I love and the fact that I'm still layering and it's not looking textured on the skin is a plus I wanted to pull you in a little closer just so you could see so I do have hair on my cheekbones and yes I know about the shaving, I just haven't done it as of late because I've been heavily using my tretinoin, so I've been going easy on any type of physical procedures on my skin. Not too bad, yeah? Like, the skin looks beautifully bright and golden. It looks smooth. I can listen, I'm gonna keep you in this angle. I'm not gonna move because if this focus goes away, I'm gonna go nuts. Let's go in with Sona G's Detail Pro with a little more right here. Woo! Right there. Not bad at all. I'm gonna put some right in the inner corner of the eye. Now for me, I would definitely apply this on wet skin or damp skin like you just saw we did with the Max Fix Plus because that's how I prefer to wear my highlighters. I just think it leaves a smoother finish. It brightens the effect. It looks smoother. You can definitely apply this dry as you saw when we did on the first half of this demo. It's definitely fine when you apply dry, but when you wet it, just look how it melts. It's extraordinary. You could probably apply this with the sponge too, like press the highlighter damp with the sponge on the cheekbones and it looks gorgeous. Now, if you feel we went too much, we could always adjust. I'm gonna take some of my Shiseido Radiant Loose Powder with my Sona G Worker Fan and just buff, buff, buffity buff, buff. This is what you do if you feel you went ham with the highlighter and you need to tone it down a bit. So this technique is going to do just that. I realize I don't have any blush. Going in with my Sony G Cheek Pro. In with the instant, oh God, so much blush. <laughs> From the instant look palette. I'm gonna put that on, get some color on the cheeks. Went overboard, but you know what? I'm loving the feel of it. It's fine. I also wanted to experiment quickly and apply some of the Love Gasm highlighter just on the very center of the magic star. That is so pretty layered like this, forget it. If you have Lovegasm and you apply this over magic star, if you decide to get it, or if you have it already, and if you want, if we want, cause we're in this together, we could also, let's do the designer pro with a little bit of these shades and just lightly very lightly on the very top apples of the cheeks 
add a little more shine there. Buff again, because you know, so is a good idea, just to in case. Gotta put something on these lips. I know this is a Charlotte video, but I'm going in with I Need a Nude with Natasha in Michelle, and then top with Charlotte's Hepburn Honey in the Center. Gently, gently. That's an interesting word choice to use when describing how I'm going to apply lip liner. All right, it's Color Pencil Makeup Forever in Versatile Chestnut. And I'll apply a very light coating of her full fat lashes just to my lower lashes because I feel they got a little massacred when I took off the concealer to reapply foundation again for this demo. I'll be really upset if I like this mascara because I converted to a drugstore mascara so my mascara budget could kind of be more reasonable. But if I like this, oh man, I'm gonna have to get it. I'll update you on that on another day. I'm just buffing with my Designer Pro. It so definitely went a little overboard with the highlighting, but this is for the demo, so it's all good. All right, here is the highlighter. We buffed it down some, but I just, I really just can't get enough. I think this is an outstanding highlighter for holiday. Yes, I'm applying more. The texture is simply sublime. It's smooth, it's easy to apply. The shine is gorgeous. It doesn't look textured on the skin, no matter how many times you go in. It reminds me of the formula found in her Glowgasm palette, which I think was well received and very popular. The gel type of formula for highlighters across the board is one of my favorites because it just makes application foolproof. The layerability of it, you can layer and layer and it doesn't look heavy on the skin. It doesn't look textured or rough. And the fact that it looks like skin and just, and it kind of gives that radiance from within type of effect, I think it's just favorable for any highlighter to have. I don't have her celestial eyes pops of something palette, but I am looking to get it. If I do, I'll come back on here and we can do a demo together. But if you have your eye on this highlighter and you're kind of on the fence about it because it's $45, I would get it because it is limited edition and I know for sure that her Starry Eyes to Hypnotize eyeshadow palette, although not a highlighter, was still a holiday release from 2018, is no longer available because that was limited edition. I don't know how long this will be available for, but it's just a nice piece to have in your collection if you love highlighters if you love this type of highlighter if you love Charlotte Tilbury I don't think you'll be disappointed but let me know down below if you grab this what skin tone you are so we can let our fam members know what to expect if they are looking to grab this highlighter and yes thanks for hopping on quickly with me for this very fast first impressions. I'll be sure to come on here again if I grab anything new, not only from Charlotte, but from anything else. I'm trying to hanker down on the spending, but there were just some items that I could not ignore. And until then, friends, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you in here again with another review, tutorial, first impressions, get ready with me or favorites list. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Ooh.